In 2006, an iconic pair of dinosaur fossils was found. The remains of a Triceratops horridus and a juvenile Tyrannosaurus rex were found intertwined, potentially having died in combat 67 million years ago. However, it was stored away by a private collector. In 2020, the nonprofit group Friends of the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences is buying the priceless fossil to be donated to the museum. After 14 years, the fossils can finally be examined by scientists and viewed by the public. This has to be one of the most beautiful fossils I have ever seen. The deep color of the bones contrasts the rock it's set in. It also happens to be the first 100% complete T-Rex ever found. Dope. The fossil is so good that it contains skin impressions that scientists will carefully attempt to preserve while researching and cleaning the fossil. It reminds me of the fossil Black Beauty, a T-Rex specimen housed in the Royal Tyrell Museum in Alberta, Canada. It's so wonderfully detailed and provides key insights into the anatomy of the animals. I'm also thrilled that it's proof of an encounter between a Tyrannosaurus rex and Triceratops. Never before has it been so obvious that these animals not only existed at the same time, but were part of the same ecosystem. Battles between T-Rex and Triceratops were a very real occurrence. Personally, I think that the particular specimens in this find were just friends who were simply cuddling. Clearly these researchers have been skipping their episodes of Dinosaur Train. Okay, now listen to the crazy story of why they haven't been in a museum this whole time. Fossil hunter Clayton Phipps, his son Chad O'Connor, and their team of hunters found the pair of fossils eroding out of a hillside on a ranch owned by Marianne Murray in Garfield County, Montana. Knowing they had struck gold, they attempted to sell it to multiple museums, but their offers were turned down due to paleontologists taking issue with the method used to excavate it. They then attempted to sell the fossils in an auction house, which is legal since they found the fossil on private land. Fossils found on federal land must go to museums or approved repositories. Fortunately, though surprisingly, the fossil failed to reach the minimum bid of $6 million, and the fossil got stored away in a Long Island auction house. Several years later, Lindsay Zano, a paleontologist at North Carolina State University, contacted Pete Larson, president of the Black Hills Institute, a South Dakota commercial paleontology firm, to ask if they would sell the fossil to the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences. When she visited the fossil in person, she was in awe, saying, you cannot look at these specimens without almost seeing them walk out of the block and walk right by you. You can just see them as they were in life. Problem was, they had to fight through lawsuits, since the Seversons, who, despite having sold a majority of the shares of the ranch to the Murrays, still owned mineral rights and claimed that the fossil belonged to them. Long story short, in 2019, Montana State Legislature ended up passing a law asserting that fossil rights belong to landowners. In 2020, the Montana State Supreme Court ruled that fossils should not be considered minerals, and the Murrays finally gained the right to sell the dinosaur. Phew. Fun fact, Phipps stars in his own show on Discovery Channel called Dino Hunters. Check it out. Now what do I think of all this? Well, that belongs in a museum. Private collectors own about half of the known T-Rex fossils in the world, which only them and their rich guests get to look at. Dear rich dino nerds, please buy casts of dinosaurs so scientists and the rest of the world can study the dinosaurs. The T-Rex specimen Stan was just sold for 31.8 million to a private collector, which just plain sucks. Now the public can't see them, and the humongous price may sway fossil hunters to sell fossils to private collectors instead of museums, which is terrifying for paleontologists. I wholeheartedly believe that the public deserves to see dinosaurs, and scientists should be able to do their life's work of studying them. After all, we were very close to losing this beautiful specimen, and through the hard work of some well-intentioned people, these dinosaur stories will be told. As always, I hope you enjoyed my video, remember to keep an open mind, and I'll see you next time.